The shuttle crew is just a minute or so away from landing. They are, as Patrick said, descending at about 403 feet per second. Charlie Bolden is at the controls. He said just a moment ago that the runway, runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center, is in sight. Mission Control said uh, you are on the glide slope. Everything is looking good. Right now, uh, there is six miles visibility at the Kennedy Space Center. Some crosswinds, uh, A2, gusting up to 14 knots, but everything uh, looks good for this morning's shuttle landing. Fog was the uh, the concern this morning uh, going feet. into the uh, the landing, but uh, right now, as I say, looks like there's, uh, they said there were six miles visibility, and you can see it coming in. Let's listen in. Wheels coming down, final flare. Main gear touchdown. Holden derotating the nose. Nose gear touchdown, Atlantis returns to the spaceport. Rolling out on runway 33. This brings to an end a nine-day mission, uh, a really very trouble-free mission, so trouble-free that it was extended from eight days to nine days. Charlie Bolden said that the crew working their round-the-clock shift, their 24-hour shift in two teams, uh, they were tired, they were ready to, uh, to come home, but this has been a, a very good uh, mission for both the astronauts and the science community. The uh, science uh, mission scientist, uh, Marcia Tour, said, the information sent down from the shuttle on this mission studying the Earth and the Earth's atmosphere will keep researchers busy, uh, not for the nine days that the mission went on, but in fact uh, for the next decade. NASA is planning uh, ten of these missions, uh, missions to planet Earth, so that they can study the, uh, the Earth and its planet, atmosphere. Atlanta. Congratulations on an outstanding flight. This first in a series of missions to study Earth's environment from space has set the standard for those to follow. And, and as we say, this, there will be many more of these missions to follow. The next mission to planet Earth scheduled for a year from now, and the next shuttle mission scheduled for May 7th.